subject to nobody. You got church hoppers. I'm sorry if you're in here, I'm sorry. Going from church to church. First they over here for a while. The Lord lead them from here to here. Something happened over there, they gone. They over here now. Where you at now? Sometimes you don't even ask nobody where they are. Cause you don't know where they gonna end up at. They just jumping from pillar to post. If you save, you ought to be steadfast. I don't, wear, I don't care where you go, something's going to be wrong. You ain't going to find the perfect church down here. You just need to make sure you right. Then you got folk that always got their mouth on the preacher. If you cannot be subject to your pastor, you need to shut your mouth and don't talk about it. You can't talk about your leader. If you want to be blessed, you got to learn how to shut up. I don't care what that leader does. He is accountable to God. You are accountable to, for your stewardship. If you are following a person, you got to believe in their ministry. You got to believe in their calling. You got to believe in their anointing. If you believe it, you become a covering for them and they are a covering for you. I ain't gonna follow nobody that if I get sick, I can't call to pray for me. I got no faith in your prayer, but I'm gonna follow you. Uh uh. If you follow me, you got to believe I can get a prayer through. You got to believe that in what I say, that God's gonna bring it to pass. Touch somebody and tell them it's gonna be all right after a while. Yeah, hallelujah. Then he said, but these speak evil of those things which they know not. Oh, a lot of folk talking stuff they don't know. They heard. Hear something about you. Old folk used to say, any dog that to bring a bone or carry a bone. They talking about you to somebody else, they gonna talk about you to somebody else. So you gotta be careful about what you heard. Too many folk talking about I heard. And you're tearing characters down destroying personalities by talking what you heard. Half of what you heard, three quarters of what you heard, you don't know no way. Going by what somebody told you. I'm stepping heavy today, that's why I can't get nobody happy here. God, when you take this in, when it's all over, you're gonna have some joy. You better grab somebody's hand and tell them, but I'm coming out of here today. Speaking even of those things which they know not, but what they know naturally as brute beasts in those things, they corrupt themselves. Look at the next verse, woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain and ran greedily after the era of Balaam for reward and perished in the gainsail of coal. In other words, they've lost their estate with God. Whenever a person loses their place with God, they start seeking for other things. Isn't it ironic? Saul was called of God to be the king of Israel. God rejected him because of his disobedience. And upon his rejection, God anointed David in his place. The day before Saul met his death, he went to a witch's house to call Samuel from the dead. Isn't it ironic today that so many people are into the psychic networks? Some of y'all here today. You got your own personal psychic. You got a 1-900 number that you call them. God said, help me through here, Holy Ghost. That it's happening now. People are running after things that fancy their imaginations. God is not in that stuff. Witches are real. Warlocks are real. Witchcraft is real. Witchcraft is more prevalent today than it's ever been. Some folk even now are under the influence of black magic. Witchcraft will work 
on you if you believe in that stuff. You got people that are working things on you and instead of you seeking God, you're trying to fight a psychic with a psychic, a witch with a witch, a warlock with a warlock. That ain't the way to do it. You gotta go to somebody that has more power than all of them put together. And the only one I know that can help you like that is Jesus. You better tell somebody the Lord is able to deliver you. Shout glory. Have I got a witness here? Touch somebody and tell them I'm on my way out of here now. You can't be scared to tell them, tell them like you mean to say, I'm on my way out of here now. We got trouble on every hand. Tears are filling our eyes. We're going through depressing periods. Our burdens are heavier than they've ever been. And the devil is messing with us. It seems that we're losing the fight. But I came to tell you that the devil is a lie. God is yet in control. I don't care what the enemy does or what kind of picture he paints. I stop by bountiful blessings, temple of deliverance at 547 Mississippi Boulevard in the city of Memphis, in the state of Tennessee, pastored by Bishop Gilbert Patterson, just to let you know that whatever you're going through is just for a season. God will make everything all right. Have I got a witness here? Tell somebody and tell them, hang on in there. It's going to be all right. Shout glory. Lift your hand and shout glory. Hallelujah. It's getting rough now. The battle is tough. The mountains are high. The valleys are low. Trouble on every hand. The enemy is talking to us. Things are happening that never happened before. We're laying hands on folk and they're not getting well. We're praying for deliverance and it looks like it ain't gonna happen. And the enemy is telling you, you might as well give up. Stop praying for folk. Let them do what they wanna do. But the devil is a lie. I don't care what the devil does. Traitor is he that lives in us than he that's in the world. Have I got a witness here? Somebody shout glory. I know it's rough. I know it's tough. The mountains are high. When you read the Bible, look at what God is saying. These are the last days. The enemy is upon us. But don't worry, y'all. If you can just hold on just a little while longer, don't give up. I don't care what kind of pressure comes against you to make you give up on what God has done. Your gift seems not to be working. Look like you lost your anointing. Look like ain't nothing working for you. But today God told me to let you know that if you can just hold on, to what God used to do. Remember in your mind that he's God today like he was on yesterday. He's God today like he'll be tomorrow. I don't care what the devil is doing. I don't care how he controls the communication. He's got television. He's got radio. He's got the newspaper. He's got the communication. He's got it locked up and he's telling folk by way of deception, you can do what you want to do, but believe in the doctor, believe in the lawyer, but the devil is a lie. I still got a word, a word from the Lord, and my Bible tells me that I don't care what comes against us. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. Can't nobody deliver like Yay! Somebody shout glory! Grab somebody's hand and say, neighbor! Say, neighbor! If you hold on, God will deliver! God will deliver! God will! God will! He will! 
sound of my voice. You've been weeping. You've been crying. Because things are happening. They're trying to destroy you. Trying to pull you down. Trying to pull you under. You look to your left. And the folk that are not living nothing. They seem to be doing better than you ever done. You look to your right. And you get perplexed. Because in your spirit, you say, God, I'm preaching. God, I'm living. All oh, that I know how. But look like the folk that are around me. That ain't preaching holiness. That ain't teaching godliness. i doing better than I ever done. You get discouraged. And you get despair. You get dismayed. And the enemy talks to you. And conceives in your spirit that you've been defeated. But the devil is a lie. When you look around, you see the wicked prospering. You see liars and homemongers doing better than you are doing. Your spirit get disgusted and you get bitter. But don't get bitter. Don't get disgusted. But get angry. Get mad at the devil and pick up your Bible. Let your Holy Ghost fingers do the walking through the word and talk to God about it. Let God know, God, I'm losing. I'm losing my children. I'm losing my family. Drugs are taking over. My young people are being inducted in the gangs. They're dying in the street like dogs. But what do I do in the midst of it all? When I see preachers that once preached the word, compromising with their surroundings. When I see the saints that no God is able, compromising with the things of the world, pick up your Bible, put a meditation on it, and talk to God, and say, Lord, reveal yourself in your word. The Bible says, when things get rough, when you pick up the word, turn over to Jude, look at Jude, Hear what you said, said evil men would creep in unawares. But what do I do, Jude? You told me about it. You warned me about it. But what do I do? I heard Jude say, but now, Brother Campbell, but now unto him that is able.
quick. Everybody take somebody by the hand. He will make it all right, y'all. He will make it all right. Storms of life may be raging, but if you just hold on, just a little while longer, if you just hold on to the darkness of the night, God will. Grab them hands, hold them, hold them. If you have to make a circle, have to be three of y'all, make a circle. Have to be four, make a circle. My God. Woo! Now tell that person, say, neighbor. Yeah. Come on, talk to them, say, neighbor. Yeah. Whatever you're going through, whatever your situation, whatever your birth, Whatever your sickness, whatever your problem, today, God's got you here to receive deliverance. If you don't get it, it ain't nobody's fault but your own. Because today, the Lord wants to give you a fresh anointing. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Mm. Mm. I don't care what you're going through. With your hands up, lift it. Just turn your head and look at that person and tell them, I am not falling. Y'all didn't hear me. I said, lift them hands and just turn your head. Look at that person next to you. Look them dead now and tell them, I am not falling. Yeah. 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 
for some of y'all it's been so rough so rough you've been just floating along it's been rough for you but God said today I'm gonna give you a fresh anointing and because of the anointing the yoke is destroyed God said I've seen your tears I've seen your tears now I'm ready to lift you up. Hey, good God. I see your tears. I'm ready to lift you up now. You better tell that person next to you, I told you I'm coming out of here today. Here it comes, here it comes. Tell that person, when I come out, today, I'm coming out with a fresh anointing. I'm coming out with a new revelation. I'm coming out with a new praise. Today is my day. I'm coming out of it. Grab that hand and say, I'm out of it. your hand in that hand next to you whatever you're going through he'll make a way right now as your hand is in that hand I feel the tears somebody's crying on the inside but this is it this is it God said, today is your turning point. Fight for it, fight for it, fight. Fight inwardly. You feel the pressure, the enemy trying to pull you under. But God told me to tell you, fight for it. Fight inside, fight it, fight it. Don't let it pull you down, don't let it pull you under. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Deliverance, deliverance, healing. God is doing something in you. He's working in you now. Come on. He's healing the hurt. He's healing the hurt. He's healing the wound. God is doing it. He comes up on Shatta. Glory to God. Grip that hand, grip that hand. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You don't know what that situation has been of the hand that you're holding. But God said today, right now, I'm getting ready to work in your behalf. As you grip that hand, I want you to forget about everybody and everything. And I want you to focus in your mind. He's able. He's able. As you speak it, it'll conceive in your spirit. And God said, victory. Hold that hand and I want you to shout to the top of your voice. 
you're just going to shout three times he's able he's able he's able by the third time you say it your faith going to be up to the level where you can receive what you've been waiting on and the fourth thing you're going to say is I've got the victory hallelujah can you feel that victory you're going to say he's able until it conceives and you ain't going to say it fast I want you to say it and let it soak in that no mountain he's not able to move no sickness he's not able to heal God can God will because he's able now lift your voice the first time and say he he is Come on, start mustering up your joy. He's working on you. He's working on you. Say it the second time. Say, He is able. You come on, Santa. Yeah, you don't know the most Santa. Come on, Santa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Come on, you've been waiting on it. This is it. This is it. God's getting ready to give you a fresh anointing. He's getting ready to work through you. He's getting ready to work on you. Your gift is getting ready to work. God's getting ready to do something for you. Say it the last time. Say, He. Come on, lift your voice. 